that's things that people don't think about. Again, tease left hand, elbow out, and anytime your elbow is out and your hands into your chest, their coils are facing this away. So there's no way to throw a coil correctly if they ever did want to reach. My coils are headed to the steer so that when I throw them, they're feeding off this away. His angles were pretty, pretty good, a good open loop, but you can see that he's... All right. Now, with his tip being that high, I want you to look at his tip right there. I want you to notice the difference once again in our tips and the planes of our swing. His is still too high for him to get it down to his target right here. And then notice mine as it comes around. See how it's pointed down. I've got that angle where I want it, which makes it for an easier delivery for me. Down over his back, just like that. Jump for jump, have that timing right there. My horse is gonna stay in position. Let me completely finish my delivery. Her head is out of my way to the left where I can clearly see the feet. Man, that makes it easy and makes it fun. Just a little, and this is a really good angle to see where I'm putting my feet when I'm asking my horse to face. I ask, I ask again, I wasn't happy, and I'm gonna keep making him move his hindquarters, keep making him move his hindquarters. See how his front end stays in one spot and his hindquarters disengage and go around? If something was out of my control, I don't ever give it a second thought. You know, I'm, I'm bummed that, you know, we may have went through a lot of, you know, time and effort to get to somewhere, but if it's not any error of ours, you cannot spend any time worrying about something that you couldn't control, number one. And if you can control it. Position, got my tip pointed down right where I want, is gonna be my delivery. I'm gonna make sure that when I throw, I'm gonna get this bottom strand all the way down under the right leg. Sometimes I like to draw a line outside this right leg, right here. And covers the left horn. For instance, if I create a curl before my curl, my rope goes over there, it starts, it starts curling right here at that downward angle because I turned it over before it covered them. Versus when that comes. Our scoring a steer. The plate ends right here, right in front of my horse's ear. The pin is where it hinges and the end of the gates. The other thing that we're gonna talk about is how much to see, or just your average positions on a steer that we see to these different places. I'm gonna... Hey, I'm, we missed our best story. What? When you made the TV show getting bucked off in the grand oh. entry. That's so, awesome. Oh, that, you know, my footage is the one on YouTube. It has 30,000 views. We're taking that. We're, sit down. No, sit down. You're getting a close up of this face because we just broke it to him that we're going to have some more footage of him getting bucked off at the National Finals Rodeo. I'm so tired of hearing the term bucked off. I jumped off. <laughs> Head first. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I can't help that I'm athletic. Yeah, yeah. You try jumping off head first. It's not easy. No, it's not.